The International Monetary Fund and the World Bank have been founded, just like the United Nations after World War II. Why? Mainly because after the war, everyone wanted peace. However, peace on an empty stomach is hard to maintain. So these two institutions were meant to help the economic stability of the world. Both of them are basically banks, but instead of being started by individuals, like regular banks, they've been started by countries. Most of the world's countries are members of the two institutions, but of course, the richest countries are those who handled most of the financing, and ultimately, those who have the greatest influence. The IMF and the World Bank were designed to complement each other. The IMF's main goal is helping countries which are currently in trouble and who cannot get money by other means. Perhaps their economy collapsed. Perhaps their currency is in danger. The IMF, in these cases, is kind of like a lender of last resort, who you go to when nobody else is willing to give you money. The World Bank, in comparison, has a more long-term approach. Its main goals revolve around the eradication of poverty, and it funds specific projects which help them reach these goals, especially in poor countries. Unfortunately, the reputation of these institutions has been dwindling, mainly due to practices such as lending to corrupt governments, or even dictators, and imposing ineffective austerity measures to get their money back. If run properly, however, they definitely could help make the world a better place.